wow like reading this chapter gave me a lot of emotional feels like i didn't really cry because i don't really cry when it comes to like anime and stuff like that but i felt the attachment i felt the attachment with these characters i know they did a great job of doing this chapter this chapter was pure gold it was truly amazing it was shocking the way things turned out i thought it was going to be a slug fest between the two of them but it didn't turn out to be that way but anyway guys what is good i mean what is really good my people it is uk trotter brother dr Blit, the darkest man around and today guys i'll be reviewing chapter 844 of one piece but anyway guys get your fried chicken get your kool-aid and sit them cheeks down because you know you definitely know this uk trotter brother will be going ham on this video so further ado let me just get on with it so first of all i gotta start off by saying that if there's one word to describe this chapter it's wow like this chapter was truly amazing it left me speechless i didn't think the stuff that happened was going to happen the way it did obviously i had a rough idea that sanji was going to win because if like if luffy won it wouldn't really make any sense in terms of going forward in terms of what they want to do with this arc and in terms of sanji's character development but Oda's done a good job in developing Luffy and developing Sanji. Like this moment right here is a monumental moment when it comes to One Piece going forward. When it comes to Luffy on his quest and becoming the Pirate King. And becoming King of the Pirates. Like he flat out said that I cannot, I cannot become the Pirate King without you Sanji bro. I need you fam. I need you in my side. I need you on my crew. And then you see Sanji treat him the way he did. And then you know that Sanji is doing this because he is scared at the consequences of going with Luffy. He is scared at what could happen to all the people that he cares about. He is scared. And then when you see the carriage go away, you see him crying and everything. Seeing all these events happen like, wow! Like, I did not expect it to happen the way it did. Like, Luffy taking the beat down it did. Like, bear in mind, guys, this chapter was bloody like really bloody in terms of a one-sided beatdown like there's only one other time that luffy has taken this beatdown and i was back in i can't remember the place bro my, the place is in my head but don't you guys remember the, the part when bellamy and all the people that was with bellamy like bellamy's crew like completely beat down luffy and zoro that part was the last time that luffy really has taken a beatdown from someone when luffy has pretty much done nothing and the way Sanji beat him up, like, it really reminded me of when Naruto got beaten up because of what Sasuke did wrong. Way Naruto got himself mashed up because of somebody else's wrongdoings. That is pretty much what this chapter reminded me of, of when I saw Luffy taking the beat down from Sanji. Getting the Diable to the face, getting knocked down. And bear in mind, this man has fought Cracker for like 16 hours, 16 plus hours, bruh. So seeing this, it gave me a lot of emotion. It gave me a lot of development in terms of Luffy going forward. And it also is going to give us a lot of development of what's to come with Sanji. In terms of this being the year of Sanji, it has been truly amazing. Like, I cannot deny it. It's been amazing. And then you see the little sly comments that Sanji's dad said, which are, finally, that body has come to use. Like, when Sanji's dad said that, he pretty much, I wouldn't really say he acknowledged him, he acknowledged him as a strong person. Like, he can actually see the strength of Sanji. Like, everyone was mind boggled of how strong Sanji was. And then when you see Nami freaking slap Sanji after when he did that beat down on Luffy. And then you see Sanji's brother, Yonji, go. That's my kind of woman, bruh. Freaking fist. <laughs> that scene kind of made me chuckle a bit. But the overall tone of the chapter, the overall tension of the chapter was real. I can feel it when I was going through the pages. I can feel the tension and then you hear Luffy say I'm gonna go on strike I'm gonna stand in this spot I'm not gonna move I'm gonna starve myself if I die I die I'm starving myself until you come back to me I'm starving myself until you come back to me and then you see the carriage go away you see Sanji crying like, I was just like Lord have freaking mercy bro this was amazing like the developments with the characters the attachment that it gave me as well, it really reminded me of the attachments that I have with these two characters. Obviously, I knew I had attachments, but 
it really hits you in that spot in terms of going forward with Sanji and Luffy as characters. This chapter was truly amazing. Me personally, chapter of the year, bruh. Chapter of the year. I said it. You guys can try and slice my left cheek or slice my right cheek, bruh. Come at me, bro. I don't care. This chapter was freaking amazing. I cannot lie. But I'm, as I'm reviewing the chapter, I'm really sweaty, bruh. I'm, I'm sweating, bruh. This chapter had a lot of tension, like I said. But as a whole, guys, I want to know what you guys think about this chapter. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below because seeing Luffy saying that I'm going to starve myself, I'm not going to move, I'm going to stay in this exact same spot until you come back. I'm not moving. I'm going to starve myself. I took in this, I've taken this beat down, bruh, and I cannot become Pirate King without you. Them words hit me deeply, bruh. Like, them words was shocking. But as a whole, guys, I want to know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts and opinion down in the comment section below because this has been the UK Trotter Brother, Dr. Blit, the darkest man around. And it is time for me to put down that fried chicken and a Kool-Aid and wrap up this video. So, please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying, please hit that rating and enjoy this video. And yeah, I'll catch you next one, guys. Bye.